It is a beautiful Memorial Day. And with my boys, we're about to go boxing. Where are you at, Preston? Where are you at? There you are. Uh, Preston gets a spar for his first time on uh, Wednesday. So you get a little touch up today, get a little workout in. So we're going to get this done. So I woke up, had my two eggs, two slices of toast, Dave's bread, on point as always. Um, before boxing, I'm going to munch on this Outright Bar Cookies and Cream. Got my Exultant expansion in this cup. And uh, going to get that done. About an hour and a half of boxing, Thomas and I do. Preston does about 45 minutes. And then we roll up into, uh, I'm going to come home. Going to do a podcast with my good friend, Alan Roberts. And then we are going to, uh, my wife and I are going to go train. I got back day today at the gym. So today's going to be a chill day. Got a lot of work done this morning. Got in contact with a lot of people. Got my work done. Got caught up. Still got a little more to do, but I want to enjoy this day. Kids are going to the pool. For me, it's only be 80 degrees, a little bit under 80. That's not pool weather. I get cold as shit. So I will be sitting out getting a suntan by the pool. These kids can go do their thing, man. They can go in the pool. Um, it's going to be busy, too. A lot of kids are going to be up in the pool today, don't you think? No? no we're going to go. Yeah, you're right. So we'll probably go to the pool around like 5 p.m. That's also when it's the hottest out here. Um, but it's going to be a good day. So I'm getting some gas on our way to boxing. Sorry, I didn't get anything this morning. I have a lot of things on my mind to talk about today. Hopefully you join me for that. Ooh. Ooh. He wants all the smoke. Ooh. Got his first sparring this week. I say we just skip sparring. And call out Canelo immediately. Same weight class. It looks like Canelo. Looks a lot like Canelo. Oh. Look at that. He's got that light skin Mexicano going on here, man. <laughs> hey, we're claiming it. Uh, <laughs> guys hey here goes that wasn't for you here goes my sludge i always like to make this because i always always get questions on how to make this katie can you give me the triple berries the mixed berries please from the freezer so i don't have to back away i appreciate that anyway check it out two scoops of the pb cooks mts well yes that one right there it's phenomenal so i like to use everybody asks hey not everybody but like two people nobody cares people ask hey do you always just eat bananas? I love bananas. Um, they're one of the best things you can eat, right? Because they're full of potassium, they're healthy. Um, they're very easy on my stomach, being that I'm somebody with irritable bowel syndrome, the D version, which is diarrhea. So, um, yes, I, I'm not, I, look, man, a lot of people have it, and I like, you know, talk about it, so. Because people need to know what I do for it. So, a lot of people think that, you know, you can't eat whey protein when you have IBS, but honestly, as someone who's tried every form of every diet to correct it. The best thing I do is I eat my veggies and stuff during the night, but I eat MTS whey, which is very low lactose, very easy on the stomach, and fruit during the day. And then I have my big bowl of veggies at night and I have my carbs um, in my breakfast. So this is a, I get this from Costco, it's called a three berry blend. It has raspberries, blueberries, and blackberries. All of them are very dark hued, but they're different colored hues, so to speak. So what that does, it means they all have their own unique, awesome nutrients. They're very high in antioxidants, and they're very actually, considering how much energy they give you, how many nutrients they give you, very low in calories and carbohydrate. So what I do is I make this into a sludge, and I, I can't do this enough, because if anybody watches this video just out of nowhere, I want them to see this, because this is honestly the healthiest thing. So whey protein, 
There it is, there's my meal. Let me talk a little bit about whey protein. So I just actually shared this in my company this morning. So whey protein, actually, you're looking at the FDA just banned NAC. I did a whole video on that. Now, whey protein arguably converts to NAC more efficient and converts to glut glutathione more efficiently in the body than NAC. So everybody's really upset at the FDA banning at NAC, which I am too, I like NAC. But the point of NAC is for your body to convert it into the body's, perhaps the body's most potent antioxidant, which is glutathione. So by taking in whey protein, you're getting a source of glutathione that's better than NAC, which was the benchmark of um, you know, glutathione conversion. And when you combine it with the berries, this is quite possibly the perfect health meal. You have 50 grams of whey protein, right? 50 grams of high quality, healthy, immune supporting whey protein combined with berries, which are potentially the most healthy food you can put into your mouth. Okay guys, so I recommend eating at least one of these a day. Scale it to your caloric needs. For example, my wife will have one scoop. My daughter or son, whatever, they'll have one scoop. Actually, Thomas will have three scoops because he's, he's bulking. Um, but honestly, that's how you use food to create better health for yourself. Anyway, I have a podcast right now. It's called The ADHD Hour. I know, very politically correct. With my buddy, Alan Roberts. It's a very good podcast. So I'm going to link it down below. And we try to do it at least once a week. And we talk about stuff that we just want to talk about. There's no... Um, there's no itinerary. There's nothing really pending to go over, but there's a lot of things I want to talk about today. So for this episode, I'm gonna link down below. I think you guys are gonna really like that. Go watch it right now. Training here with Katie today, hell yeah. So basically it's light back day. I don't need to film any of this. Just know that we're rocking and rolling, getting it done. Two training sessions, boxing, then back day. Ah. Welcome to my office. So I just got done training. Feel great. Anyway, check it out. Some. Same as last time, man. PB Cooks MTS Whey. Blackberries, raspberries, and blueberries. A little bit of whipped cream on top. I'll probably eat dinner in around two and a half hours. It's 5.15, so I eat dinner around 7.30. And um, I got a lot of work to do right now, so I'm gonna get that done. And we'll hopefully go on a walk later. Stay active, it's beautiful outside. Oh, exposed, Cammy. Exposed. So this is uh, this is what I love doing, man. I'll work out here a lot, you know, just to uh, get a good view of the forest. And it's just great. You know, I was thinking about even getting more space, like after this house, like moving and landing. I'm good. I just need a porch, some trees, some quiet, some fresh air. And I got that here. So I don't get a chance to go outside much and sit down, but the weather here is so perfect right now. Like you come out here at like seven o'clock and it's 645 right now. And nice cloud cover, it's like 75 degrees. You hear the insects, it's just frigging gorgeous, man. Gorgeous, sit back, got our screen, screen porch back there. Like this is about, if you could have told me that you know, at like 12, 13 years old that I'd be sitting out here looking at trees and just secluded. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. So yeah, this is, uh, I need to do this more often. I, I'm always hooked up. I'm always on my computer. I'm always on my phone, but sometimes just getting out here and getting some, my form of meditation, just kind of hanging out. That's great. It's just great. I need to do this more often. It'll make me a better person, but Speaking of relaxation, that's about to end because I'm about to take my daughter driving again. So say some prayers. Okay, day three, driving school. Yes. And today, I'm not going to give her any instruction. I'm just going to sit here and let her f f drive. Um, fuck up is what I'm about to say. And uh, we'll see how it goes without any instruction. We're just going to let her drive around and um, pray. So the goal with today is I've been joysticking right so in boxing when you just hit the bag you just do what's called freestyle 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 today's freestyle she's just driving around the goal is not to hit that curb the goal is not to hit that pole and the goal is not to hit any other car and the goal is to stop at all stop signs other than that i don't care just drive around 20 minutes that way the brain is fully focused we'll call it a day 
The goal is to get her on the road as soon as possible, driving to and from her soccer practices. So I read a lot of articles on how to do this and um, hopefully we don't die. Um, but overall, you know, uh, we're right by this great parking lot at Ravenwood High, so we're able to uh, get this done. But so far in three days, either I'm a great coach or she's a fast learner or God's on our side, whichever it is, we're very excited about this. It's going really well. Yesterday, I almost died, but today's better. From now on, I'm eating all my meals out here. So that's salmon, got skin on the bottom, some shrimp, mushrooms, asparagus, and pickles. What you got, man? Three ribs. My ribs, how are they? Good. Delicious. What's up, guys? So I just got done doing my 10 minutes of red light therapy, which I'll link down below if you want to buy one. Um, I do have an affiliate link because I love it and I asked for it. I bought one and I'm like, I need an affiliate link. I love this thing. So I did that and I'm going to do another 20 minutes in the sauna, 30 minutes of recovery tonight. And um, I'm feeling fucking good, man. I boxed today. I trained back today. I feel amazing. Um, it's all about taking care of your body, man. I just tweeted this. Live every second like it's your last, because it just might be. So here it is, my MTS brownie. Have it every night before bed. If you don't know how to make it, type in MTS 30 second brownie on YouTube search, it'll get you there. One thing I take every night before bed, MTS nutrition machine sleep aid. I fall asleep fast, I sleep deep. It tastes delicious. It, I never go a night without it. So every night, MTS nutrition sleep aid. If you don't sleep right, you're just not gonna perform right. Your life's gonna suck. So take your sleep aid. Anyway, guys, see you tomorrow. Kali Power Pizza. I gotta admit, I'm one of those guys who said, if you're gonna eat pizza, eat real pizza. But Flex Pro Meals has not done me wrong. 20 carbs, 55 protein, 30 fat for y'all keto types. I'm gonna throw it in the microwave and we're gonna try this bad boy out. Flex it with the microwave, y'all. I'm ready to try it. It smells good. I wish y'all could smell this, but unfortunately, you know, my boy, my boy Steve Jobs died before he could figure that function out on the iPhone. So here comes the dog. Ruckus, you, you want to, I would like some of that cauliflower pizza. Can I have, can I, I'll try, I'll be a taste tester. All right, here he goes. That was him talking, by the way, I'm not weird. Look, it's actually cut into little pieces. So what we're gonna do is, I don't want to burn my mouth, so we're gonna pause this. I'm gonna come back to you in about two minutes. This actually, I have this nifty little spatula. Look how perfect it was made for this. So here we go. So I'm gonna try this, all right? So look, it actually resembles a pizza and it actually holds like a pizza. Oh my God. They actually did it. They made a low carb pizza that did. This is amazing, guys. Anyway, flexpromeals.com. Coupon code LOWBLINER saves you some cash. And try this pizza. This is good.